there is definitely a significant number of pregnancy risks related to having higher weight uh, in women once they're pregnant. There are risks, and the way we think about those risks are what are the risks to mom and what are the risks to the baby. So there's an increased risk for mom in terms of having higher blood pressure. So we call that pregnancy-induced hypertension. And in the worst case scenario, that can progress to something that we call preeclampsia and eclampsia, which is in fact a medical emergency. So that's more common. Um, there's also an increased risk of gestational diabetes. And gestational diabetes is also a marker of increased risk for developing type 2 diabetes postpartum. There is an increased risk of having to have a C-section. So um, actually a marked increased risk of having to have a C-section. So women who are overweight or obese, the risk of C-section is somewhere close to 35 and even 40 percent in some places, which is much higher than what we hope to achieve in most situations. They have a higher risk of having to have a surgical procedure um, to get the baby out because even if it's not a C-section, like a forceps um, or vacuum extraction, because the babies also tend to be bigger, so they're harder to get out. Um, when mom has a surgical procedure, there's also increased complications. So C-sections are associated with some risks of their own, including blood clots postoperatively, and high body mass index also independently increases the risk for blood clots. So that's something we worry about for women who are overweight. Um, for baby, there's also a number of risks. Uh, it turns out that babies, there's an increased risk of malformations in babies who are born to um, moms who are overweight or obese. Um, that includes uh, neural tube defects like spina bifida, which is what we use folic acid for to prevent. There's an increased risk of cleft lip and palate where either the lip or the inside of the roof of the mouth is not properly formed and also an increased risk of cardiovascular malformations. There is a risk that the baby will be born too big. Uh, there's risk that the baby will be born too early. And we don't like babies to be born too early um, because those babies have an increased risk if they're very early for um, developmental problems when they're older. Um, and obviously for problems like breastfeeding and so on if they're born very early, they're premature. So there's also a risk for um, neonatal death. So there's a higher risk that the babies are born, stillborn, or have a poor outcome within 30 days. So there's a number of quite significant, important implications for babies.